Oh, oh man. Hmm. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Uh, was expecting you though. Um, yeah, we had a. Um, we organized the tournament a while back in the beta version of the game and it was a lot of fun so this is why there's a new video and uh, i'm really looking forward to showing you what we did it's going to be a lot more fun when all of you can join us as well all of the players of uh, 11. let's dive in i'll explain a bit more about uh, what we did uh, while i prepare my breakfast it's still very early well early for me at least all right let's go inside All right, guys, um, let me just explain you a little bit about the tournament uh, while well, I got some oranges. So, um, I don't think I have enough oranges. Well, okay. Um, so, it's, it was called Tame the Spin. The reason why it had that name is because the world seems to be spinning out of control. And uh, I wanted to give people an opportunity to put their own spin on things. We were playing in the beta. There were a lot of connection issues. So sometimes people would see ghosts, like they would just see the ball coming back, but not the player playing it. Or maybe somebody would drop out or they had to restart. So they, they had to get out of the game, come back in, get out of the room, come back in, all of that stuff. But people stick, stuck around. They kept playing till the end. Uh, there was no rules enforcement. So people had to count their own points. Um, follow all the rules by themselves and we had no issue whatsoever so uh i really want to thank everybody that joined us for making this a very 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 nice experience um all right for now i'm gonna start cooking some balls because that, well, that's what we do i really wanted to organize something that, that would highlight the social aspect of uh, vr and uh, table tennis in vr and the doubles tournament uh, seemed perfect for that. All right. I have to ask the developer to give me more uh, stuff to cook with because I'm going to go hungry here. All right. Oh, it's a bit dry. Yeah. For those of you who didn't realize yet, we're talking about a doubles tournament. I just wanted to show you an image of what we were streaming during the quarterfinals. But of course, you can see here it's very hard to follow. It would be better, of course, if maybe you can see the names uh, of people playing. Maybe they have uh, all different avatars, that would help. Of course, scorekeeping uh, is not done in the game at the moment because it doesn't keep track of uh, doubles. Um, rules. But as I said before, people just follow the rules like they would do in real life. For, so for that part, it was perfectly fine. After the quarter final, we had a demo match between myself and Irauzo. Before that, uh, I gave some tips about uh, using safe strokes, like a, a push to um, to put pressure on your opponent, and I also tried to explain very briefly how using your body can improve your strokes and give them a lot more power. I will show you here what that was about, but you're only going to see part of it because Hidrauza was ghosted. First tip. First tip is uh, not to forget about, uh, like, we always see people trying to, to flick everything and attack everything, right? So the first tip is that, uh, like, the use of a well-pushed, like a well, a well performed deep fast push to the back end or to the elbow of the, the other player. So if you're playing against somebody like Hidrauzo or me, if you play, if you return the ball fast enough here, either we have to move out of the way and play well. So if we don't move, we can't really play a difficult shot. And for the back end, it's the same. We have to move, right? So the idea is that um, uh, we can show right now. So you, know, you can return. Uh, to my uh, to my elbow. 
So like, I wasn't ready for that. I was prepared for a forehand here, but not there. So now I had to move, right? But not a lot of people in the game have enough space or they're a bit scared, so they don't move that much, right? All right. So uh, basically the, the point of, of, of this tip is that you, don't, you, you can do like a, an easier shot as long as it's deep on the table and fast, but it's not to the deep back end where it's easy to spin up. And it's not to the just middle where he can still move, but it's like to the elbow, right? Where he's out of position. You saw he had to move out of the way. Basically, that's it. And then um, if you notice people like start pivoting and they start actually moving, then when you see them move, you can play to the other side and they don't get there, right? So just to say like you don't always have to try to attack everything. You can also like play a little bit smarter uh, with a secure stroke. Just make sure you don't just leave it like this short or like without intention because then it's still easy. It needs to be with intent, right? And at least even if the ball comes back, it will be lesser quality or it will not be an attack and then you have a chance to attack. Then the second thing really quick is um, we'll just show the difference between uh, not using your body and using your body for a foreign top spin, right? So we see a lot of players um, in general in real life as well, in this game as well, like we'll play diagonal. Um, that like they play top spin like this, right? Just arm, right? And then what you really have to do actually is like my feet are this far apart. I don't know if you see it. They're like uh, wider than my shoulders, right? My knees are a bit bent, and when I play, I use I move my knees like this, and when I do this, like my arm moves along with my body, right? So it's, it's feet, uh, knees, hips, shoulders, and then the arm. And if you use all of that, you will get a way more powerful stroke, right? So it rouses really good, so you can still return those. But basically that's it. So right now I'm doing it big, but you can do a bit smaller. So you don't, you're not out of position all the time. But basically you use your body, right? And you can do it on the small strokes too. You can, like if you're just doing a drive, it gives you more security if you use more of your body. It's the same for the back end, basically. But it's smaller, so it's like more right to left, like this, with your shoulders and your hips. So. It gives you control and then when you want to play stronger, you can also use your knees, your legs, your hips uh, and don't miss. <laughs> right. Okay. That's all. All right. I'm already out of breath. We're going to start a demo match. So we're going to mess around a little bit. Um, I hope you will see a couple of things that wouldn't that were impossible uh, just a week ago or two weeks ago before the the phase shift for the quest might have been possible on the quest one or the rift s the, the quest what am I saying the CV one rift but now it's possible with the quest two which is crazy all right zero zero first set. Seven.
Australia. So I think that was okay. The lesson that I learned from this is that next time maybe we'll play uh, full points, like real points like we usually do, so you can see full body movement and everything. The one highlight that has us playing with something closer to full power is actually the nicest highlight out of them all. Right now we're going to step into the semifinals, and you will see a lot of new things. Most of all, which for me was impressive. I mean, they've been doing it all day before this point anyway. But uh, you notice that real-life players are starting to adapt ways to show their colleague the type of serve they're going to give. In real life, you do that with your fingers, like uh, two down, two up, three to the side, one down, one up. It's very cool to see people like in just a matter of minutes adapt to um, how you want to show the serve. I mean, a lot of them, I think, also discussed it before joining the game. But I noticed that I started doing it automatically as well. So so what I'm showing you right now are just a couple of highlights. It's just going to be like five or six points per match. Hey, Fred. Uh, are we doing now? Oh, very good. Okay. Uh. Huh. And so we that's how it's going. Oh good. Okay, I thought it was very interesting. So you can clearly see people are trying to place the ball in places where they would do in real life, where it would be most difficult when people would have to, you know, yeah, avoid each other's bodies, even though in this game right now, you don't have to worry about uh, your partner's bodies. But it really affects people anyway, because people are clearly getting out of the way of each other. They're like, I played myself as well. And it's uh, it's not easy to start playing through somebody else. So for now, actually, I think with the limitations that the game has, like at home you don't have as much space as you do have in real life, it actually um, balances out a little bit what is happening. So allowing you to move through your opponent if, <laughs> if you're not too scared of it actually uh, mitigates a little bit the fact that you can't maybe move as much or as far away from the table. So I think actually there being no collisions on the bodies is perfectly fine for now. Um, I'm getting tired again. I guess I'm, I really am a cat and uh, it's the middle of the day. So I need to take a nap. Uh, in the meantime, let's just uh, keep watching and take a look at the small final. Where they play for the third place, it's going to be uh, all these bad goodies, which is this is an evergreen against German hotspots, which is bonsai soccer, and his friend uh, Peter Arger. Um, okay, let's just call him Peter. 
Huh? Let's see how that goes. Oh, God. seat now Bye. uh seat uh, table i'm sorry let's just jump right into the final which is rock daru combo uh, combination of senderu and chris rock 61 against polish strong the two coaches also providing some of the prizes for this tournament sidrauzu and sulik all right let's see how they do actually didn't want to stop playing so I had to go get them actually they just stopped anyway um, to ask them to come to the award ceremony which is what I'm going to show you right now I would like to wait for more people but you never know if they're going to show up so um, <laughs> Isis yes. congratulations to you and uh, Mr. Evergreen Evergreen <laughs> you guys you. how old are you guys because you're calling yourself old but how, how, how old is that I'm 46, going to 47, and Evergreen is 51. Nice, nice, nice. I guess you, you do win in the old category. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're in fourth place. You win um, a training session for sure already as well. And since since the trainers won the first place, the fifth place is going to get uh, training sessions too, all right? Uh, or a training session. So everybody else who watched, I mean, they're not here right now, maybe. No, oh, Philip UK, no. Well, uh, they can they can win training sessions if they know who won the demo match, right? So, uh, congratulations, Isis, but for the third place, Bonsai Soccer, and your your uh, dude that was playing with you, Peter. Uh, Peter, very nice. He's sleeping. <laughs> Second place, Chris Rock, Sendero. 
very very impressive so you guys also you will you will get uh, a training session to share i mean every team gets gets one but you can uh, join the both of you or you can pass it on to other players if you feel like uh, somebody else would uh, enjoy it more but you can always learn i can't bump the fist because i'm on the pc sorry <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So you can you can go on the thingy as well, and then you guys. Yeah, you're not gonna take pictures of yourself. So I guess I'll I'll do a grab screen. So congratulations, trainers, you made it. Uh, you were, yeah, I wasn't playing, but you no, you would have won anyway. So yeah, And then uh, thank you, public, for being here at the end. Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, if you're all on the pedestal thingy, uh, I will I will take a picture. Yeah, you can also go next yeah. to the English yeah. on the map. Each side, whatever yeah. side you want. Right. Yeah. Camera. And wait, they might cancel I feel that's insane. Thanks a lot for for joining. I mean I wasn't expecting that many people to be here and to be here the whole, all the time. It was very nice because it was better, you know, it was still buggy. But I'm very happy that everybody kept playing till the end. Uh, that's quite amazing. Like this community, it's, it's just crazy that you can do a tournament in beta where everything <laughs> up and people still be playing. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. It's just, Thank you very much yeah. for the nice funny. organization. Very fun event. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. I think this was a, a great start for the doubles, uh, and it will only get better when the game gets more stable. So yeah, thank yeah, you very yeah. much. Yeah, it's, fantastic. It's, yeah. yeah, it's funny. <laughs> nice idea. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. So thanks a lot for playing, and see you around. Like we see each other a lot in here. So. Yeah, okay. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Next time as well. Like, I really hope like it's all in game soon, so I can play myself more as well because I really wanted to play too, <laughs> but I just dropped in. So, all right. Okay. Cool. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Bye, bye. 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 Hey, guys. Welcome again to my home. I guess uh, it's your home as well, so we can all share it. Uh, it's very nice against next to the cozy fireplace that's not actually burning. Well, it looks like it's burning, but it doesn't look that much like it's burning. The chairs are set in a really peculiar way because, I mean, this one is really good for watching the game, even though you'll probably get a bat to the face. Uh, and that's more or less the theme in all of this space. Like, yeah. If this would be real life, you'd be hurting your hands and bat and everything once you stay, take a small step back. I would for sure be bumping into uh, this wall if I was playing here during the the demo match. So uh, otherwise, it's very nice to look at. Wonder what new environments are gonna come in the future. All right. So um, look forward to my next videos as well. Some something big is about to happen. Um, also. I do another video on uh, something that's been going on in beta uh, very soon. All right. See you guys.